Hello. All right, so this is Blob Opera, and this is how I actually put that uh, little track together. It was done entirely in Resolve, DaVinci, or Blackmagic Resolve. So what I did is I recorded a fairly long session in Blob Opera, uh, and then I brought this into Resolve, and I started cutting and editing things and added basically all these audio tracks. So one thing that I did, as you can see it over here, is take advantage of the fact that in Resolve, you can cut and slide the audio tracks at sample resolution rather than frame resolution. So even though the clips I was using, so where's the ah uh, ah uh, ah? Uh, there we go, that's the ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, right? So even though I was cutting the video on frame boundaries, because you have to, I'm actually sliding and cutting the audio on the proper timing for the BPM that I was using. This particular track, I think, was recorded at 125 BPM. There's no real match between 125 BPM and a 24 frame per second timeline. This is a frame before, this is a frame after the actual beat happens a few milliseconds before that frame there. And if you don't do that, you're gonna sort of, you can hear it. Your sense of timing is much more precise than 24 frames a second or 30 frames a second. Is this the right one? Yeah. So this is the ooh, blah, 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 blah thing people tend to like. Uh, same thing. This is, this over here is the track for the uh, the bass that's doing blah, 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 blah. And then this is the audio track for the other three guys who are doing ooh. Yeah, so what I'm doing is basically just making a composite frame that has the blah, 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 blah from the purple guy with the ooh coming from the other color blobs. And that's how I put it together. However, I found out that there is another way to play with uh, Blob Opera, which is actually to hack into the JavaScript. So let's look at that. So if you search for Blob Opera, first of all, my track shows up, which is great. Yay, number three in the list. But also you see these interesting things. So this guy makes... So this guy managed to make the blobs sing Bohemian Rhapsody. So I didn't know how he managed to make the blobs do the right thing at the right time and upload a song that basically have the blob do real things. And then I did a little bit of research and I figured out how. You can actually hack the Blob Opera app and convert either MIDI tracks or music XML track and inject them into the, the app to make it work. It's really hacky uh, and I'll show you how to do it. So let's go to Blob Opera. Uh, let me just, okay, so restart from the beginning. So if you go to Blob Opera, you let it load. Uh, this is best done using Google Chrome. Uh, yes, blah, blah, uh -huh. let's skip this. All right, and the way it works is if you go right click and inspect, we're gonna get, I told you it was gonna get really techy. Um, so you're going to get the developer's tool and what you need to look for is app.js, which is the main Blob Opera app. And the way you do it is uh, you use a technique called data injection. So you put a breakpoint right as the process of recording is finished and then you hijack the content of the recorded data and you replace it with your own. So now if we uh, record... So at this point, our breakpoint is uh, called. So the ne next thing you need to do is put a watch point on the object that's called current recording, which is going to hold the data for this. And that's the data. So you have an array of the four voices, zero, one, two, three, uh, three being the bass. So we can see that the bass has eight notes and this is the data structure for each of the sode. So the MIDI pitch, the duration, the volume you use, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the internal format of the Blob Opera. The next part of it is if you look on GitHub and search for Blob Opera, there is Blob Opera MIDI. And Blob Opera MIDI is effectively a little Python tool that converts a MIDI file into a Blob Opera format JSON. And you have all the instruction over here uh, to do what uh, needs to be done, uh, including the instruction of what you need to do to inject the resulting data into the Blob Opera file. So that's one of the tools. And the other one is this one over here called Python Blob Opera. Uh, this one is a little bit different because it apparently 
works with real uh, lyrics. So it allows you to actually sort of put in not only the notes, but also the vowel shapes uh, into the score. So that's it. So that's the way uh, it gets done. So all I, I'm not going to sort of do anything with that because uh, I just found out about this, but I thought that was really interesting. And uh, it looks both harder and way easier than the technique I used. Anyway, so that's all I have. Merci et à la prochaine.